Marvel Studios has been hiding what Kang the Conqueror is going to look like ahead of not just Avengers the Kang Dynasty, but also the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But it looks like a possible leak has sprung. And the reason I say it's possible is because there's some conflicting reports from various people. By now, you guys know how these leaks go. Sometimes they are so poor quality, you are inclined to believe that a time traveler from 2002 using their Motorola Razor was the one to take the photos. Again, I will have them linked down below. They are rather low quality and blurry, but you get the sense of what I'm talking about and what this leak is all about. Again, alleged leak, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit. So first and foremost, if you look at these two images here, they seem legit enough. That's the way I want to put it. The top one, you definitely see Jonathan Major's face. He looks like Kang. He essentially looks exactly how the statue looks at the end of Loki Season 1, but brought to life in color. The best way I can describe it with an image is this right here honestly like he looks like that but that's just jonathan major's face instead of the comic drawn one so it's pretty accurate in every regard the one underneath it is kang holding what looks to be a book of some sort i don't know take a pick book of a shanty somehow he got his hands on it who really knows who really cares it's kang he can do whatever he wants but it's him without the helmet on a throne and the throne looks pretty epic Everything looks great. Again, same outfit as the photo I just talked about above it and the same outfit that you see in that comic book um, cover I just posted. But again, really blurry, low quality. So the validity of these images, again, dubious at best, obviously a leak. But the thing that's really interesting here is people are reporting that this is legit. Some people are saying it's fake. Nobody's come forth to claim that they're the one that leaked it, rightfully so, because if it's legit, they'd be stupid to claim they leaked it because they'd get in trouble. The thing with this here is, though, something about it to me just screams fan-made. I don't know what. Again, early visual effects sometimes scream fan-made. We've all done this. We've looked at an official leak, and we said, oh, that's fan-made. That can't be real. And then... Fast forward six months, a year, year and a half, it's legit. Remember, this happened with Spider-Man No Way Home countless times. So maybe this is real. But again, people that were in attendance are saying, nope, this is fake. Other people with proof that they were in attendance are saying it's real. So you be the judge. If this is real, it's early, which is exactly why they're not releasing the trailer and it makes sense. If it's fake, it's a pretty good fake. So... Whatever side of this you fall on, I think it's safe to say that if this is what Kang looks like, it's not disappointing. As a matter of fact, it's scary how comic accurate it is. 